Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Amy Darley, and I am so excited for today's video because it is jam-packed with lots and lots of cleaning motivation. This video is gonna be video number six in my decluttering series, so if you've been following along, I have been decluttering and organizing one space at a time throughout my house, and today's focus is gonna be my daughter's closet because her closet was a disaster. So we're gonna get in there, we're gonna declutter and organize and clean, and then I'm also gonna be doing some everyday cleaning in today's video. My garage was a huge mess, so we're going to clean up the shoe rack, and then we also had a huge spill in our outdoor refrigerator, so we're going to clean that up, restock the fridge, and just get tons of stuff done for today. So go ahead and get that to-do list ready and either clean along with me or just watch and get motivated so you can get started on your cleaning for today. Okay, so this video was actually over two days of cleaning and both days it was sunny and beautiful outside. I actually live right outside of Savannah, Georgia and the weather here has been perfect this week. So I think the high on this day was 84 degrees and sunny. It was beautiful, perfect day to just open the blinds and get some cleaning done. And even one of our little cats was out here just taking a nap in the sunshine this morning. This is Freddy, and we actually have two other cats. One is Ozzy, which you'll see her a little bit later in the video. And then we also have another cat named Riley, which looks a little bit more like Freddy. And she's in a lot of my videos too, because her, um, Riley and Ozzy love to come in and take naps. Freddy likes being outside, but the other two love to come in and take naps and snuggle and then go outside to play. <laughs> But first things first, we always have to get the bed made. This is like my pre-cleaning cleaning. cleaning. So before I can get started on that to-do list, I have to have my bed made and then we get laundry going. And so for today, since I'm gonna be cleaning up in Gracie June's room, I'm gonna go ahead and get her bedding started so that way it's all cleaned and dry and everything before I have to go pick up the kids. And before I finish cleaning in there, I'll be able to get that bedding back on her bed. So now I'm headed upstairs to Gracie June's room to grab her bedding. And when I walked in there, I saw Ozzy, our, our little black cat. She is sleeping on Gracie June's bed. And I didn't even know that she was inside this morning. So she loves to come sleep on Gracie June's bed. And then Riley, the other one that I said likes to sleep inside, she has two spots. She likes to go on Kaysen's bed or there's a little basket downstairs that has our blankets in it in the living room. She loves sleeping in that basket. And here I just kind of tried to make a little spot for her on the floor, but she wasn't having it. She ran downstairs and went and cuddled up on the couch while I got the bedding started. Now I'm super curious, are you guys a cat person or not? I feel like you're either one or you're not a cat person. And I have never been a cat person in my life. I never even thought I would ever have cats. But um, a year and a half ago, the kids talked us into getting these cats. It was actually my in-laws had a cat who had babies. And so we got the three kittens. We got the, we agreed to one, but then we were like, well, if we get two of them, then they'll have a playmate. But then when we went to bring the cats home, we felt bad leaving one by itself. So we ended up with these three cats and they've honestly grown on me over the last year and a half. I'm still more of a dog person. I wouldn't, I still would not consider myself a cat person, but they have grown on me and I do love to cuddle with them every now and then. And um, anyways, I'm just curious, are you a cat person or not? All right, so I'm just continuing with my normal cl morning cleaning routine. So I'm tidying up here in the living room. I'm gonna clean up in the kitchen and then I will get started on the actual cleaning that I'd planned on to doing for the day. So that would be like whatever cleaning I had on my to-do list for the day. I bet you think that I should calm down.
Alright, so as I continue to clean, I just thought it would be fun for you guys to share any good news that you have down in the comments. So let me know what's going on with y'all. Do we have any new jobs or new babies? Um, any fun news or anything that you're excited about? I would love to hear from you down in the comments so that way we can celebrate with you. I would say our good news recently is that one, the weather's been great. Um, we also have been super busy, but like good busy. Um, Kaysen is starting back up baseball season. So he just had his first baseball tournament this past weekend and it went amazing. And then he also made his school middle school baseball team, which he is so excited about. So he'll have that going on and we will literally have baseball from now until like the end of the summer. And then Gracie June has had a few cheer competitions. She actually has a cheer competition this weekend and next weekend. So we're going to kind of divide and conquer while Kaysen goes to baseball. I'll take um, Gracie June to cheer. And they actually won their last competition, which was so much fun. She's been loving it. She has just been doing so good with her cheer stuff. So we're excited about that. But like I said, it's just been super busy, but good busy. And we've been having a lot of fun. The last thing I'm going to do to clean here in the kitchen is just wipe down my wood countertop and then I'll head upstairs to start cleaning. And actually while I'm upstairs, my vacuum, I have a robot vacuum, it is set to go off every day at 1030. So it's going to do the vacuuming for me and then usually I will pull out my cordless vacuum after dinner and run the cordless vacuum in the kitchen really quick because we tend to get, you know, crumbs on the floor. Um, food from like cooking or whatever. So I usually use my cordless vacuum to clean up after dinner, but during the day, my robot vacuum is my BFF and does the vacuuming for me. All right, we are back upstairs and this is the situation in Gracie June's room right now. So this is her closet. We have so much stuff in here. She has lots of clothes that actually need to pull out because they're too small for her or too short on her. Um, and then we have lots of shoes, backpacks, all kinds of things that I need to go through and just declutter and organize. And we're gonna get rid of a lot of stuff today. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out everything from the closet. The only thing I left in there were her hangups. I actually decluttered those while just standing there in the closet. And then I also left her hanging organizer. But everything else I pulled out because I wanted to put my hands on everything. I wanted to look through everything so that way we could decide what we were going to keep and what we were going to get rid of.
So funny because as I was pulling things off the shelves and pulling things off the floor in the back of the closet, I was finding things that I didn't even know were in here. And um, I actually declutter their closets at least once a year like this. But there are things that have been in here that we haven't touched for like three years. So I'm, I'm like, okay, it's time to get rid of this. We Every single time I declutter, I keep it thinking we're going to use it or she's going to want to play with this thing. And it's been sitting at the top of their closets for like three years. So I'm finally going to get rid of some of those things today. I also pulled out her bookshelf here. And originally, you'll see in just a second, originally I was thinking I was going to completely pull out the bookshelf and put it on the wall beside her bed. But after I moved it over there, I just did not like the way the whole room just seemed smaller and more cluttered. And here you can see this is where I kind of tested it out. I moved her nightstand onto the other side and this is where I was going to put this bookshelf. But after putting it there, I just realized that there was too much furniture in here. And if I filled that bookshelf up, it was going to make this whole space look even more cluttered and be harder to keep clean because I know how Gracie June is. She's going to throw stuff all over that bookshelf or she'll probably pull things off even more. Um, so I decided I was not going to keep it there. So the first thing I'm doing though before I put it back is I'm going through all of her clothes. I'm going to declutter these clothes, get rid of anything that's too small for her or too short and then I'll vacuum the floor and then I'm gonna actually put that bookshelf back into this closet. So this is the pile of clothes that we are gonna get rid of and give to a friend because they're too small. And now that this is out, I can actually do a quick vacuum and this is all that she was left with, but I did have a few other dresses that were clean downstairs that I'm gonna be hanging up in just a little bit. Um, but we're gonna kind of move some things around in here because I also got one of those organizers that I used in my closet and also in my son's closet in last week's video. And I got two of them, but I decided since I'm using the bookshelf in here that I'm going to only use one of the organizers in this closet. And then I'm going to use the other one that I got to organize in my craft area in our playroom. So that'll be in a video soon. So here I'm just moving our hanging organizer over to the right of the closet so that way I can put the drawer organizer that I'm going to use down there in the bottom left. Still got your pearls hanging by my bed. Here's the drawer organizer that I was talking about. The one in Kaysen's room is a little bit taller, but I knew that if I ended up putting these below Gracie June's clothes, that it would need to be the shorter version, which is also the same one that I have in our closet. But I got all of the organizers from the container store and they're actually a really good price. So I will make sure to link the organizers down in the description box. They come in white and silver. And so I got silver for both our closets and my son's closet. But then for Gracie June's closet, I went with white because everything else in here was white. And I love the way it looks. But I really love these organizers because they fit so much stuff in them. The top drawer is a little bit skinnier, but the other drawers are huge, and I'm able to fit so much more stuff in these than in our normal dressers. So you'll see how I organized Gracie June's closet in just a second, but if you didn't see last week's video where I did my son's closet, I was able to organize all of his baseball, football, um, everyday clothes, and even his shoes in those organizers, and they just fit so much. 
Oh, really quick, I wanted to say I'm putting this little command hook here to hang a few of her little bags, and I think it looks really cute. But back to the drawer organizers, I also think they would be really great in like a linen closet or even a cleaning supply closet. So if you have any closets in your house that you're trying to organize, I definitely think these would be really good in there. So these are the baskets that were on the bookshelf in Gracie June's closet, and I'm just going through them. One of the baskets is full of her cheer medals, which I want to get something that I can actually hang on her wall to display all of her medals, and I found something really cute off of Amazon. I just need to order it. Um, but then we also have a few Disney headbands that are like the Disney ears that I just cannot get rid of. I got rid of a ton. We used to have a bunch of Disney ears, and I got rid of a ton of them. But these I've just been keeping because I'm like, I know one day we're going to go back to Disney. I don't know when it's going to be because my kids really prefer going to Universal now. And we love Universal so much. But I'm thinking, of course, one day we'll go back, right? So I've been keeping them in case we decide to do one of the Halloween parties because we have a pair of Halloween ears and Sally ears. So that's what's in that basket. Um, but now I'm just organizing the bookshelf with all of her fun little items and accessories. And then on the bottom shelf here, I'm putting all of her books and sketch pads and journals. And then I'm also going to put a few of her craft boxes. I think she's got some bracelets that have not been opened yet. So I like to keep those in here because they haven't been opened. So that way when she is ready to use them, you know, we can go through it together. And it's not a huge mess in the craft area in our playroom. It would stay, I never knew. Okay, I have a few baskets that we don't reach for as often, so I'm putting them up here on this top shelf, and in this first basket, it's tons of different costumes, just in case she has like dress-up days or anything, and then in this basket, we have a couple of duffel bags, just in case we need them for like a short weekend or something, and then these are going on top of the bookshelf. These are her Christmas nativity scene items. And then here we have more glow in the dark Easter eggs that I'm just gonna keep in here for right now. And then I did throw her pom poms that she has um, into these baskets. I could probably get rid of those, but I'm gonna replace them with some red and white pom poms. But um, she still pulls these out. Her and her little friends will make up cheer routines at the house so i'm going to keep them in case they want to use those until i replace them okay now i'm going to organize her drawers and here on the bottom shelf i'm just putting all of her shoes and then the next two shelves are going to be like sweatshirts or pullovers and sweaters and then in the very top drawer that's the one that i was saying is a little bit skinnier it's going to be for her cheer bows and then she also has some regular bows that she wears with that I got for her to wear with her dresses to church. We haven't even opened them yet. So I'm gonna put those in that drawer so we can start pulling those out. And then also some of her hats. Oh, and these do have tops that come that you can buy separately. When I organized my closet, I didn't know that they had tops, and a bunch of you told me about that. So for the kids' closets, I did get the tops for them. I haven't gotten them for my closet yet, but I might end up doing that. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that because I have some things sitting in the inside of mine. Um, I have a couple of bags, and so it kind of works out without the tops for my closet, but for theirs, I did want to have tops. All right, I wanted to share with you this little organizer. It's a hanging organizer that I got off of Amazon a couple of months ago, and I'm using it to store all of Gracie June's pants because they would not fit really well in her dresser drawer. So this works so much better, and it's just a way to utilize the back of her door space. And I've seen a lot of people use these organizers. It's actually two-sided. So I've seen people use it for leggings, pants, sweaters, 
Um, but like I said, I got it off of Amazon and I will link it down in the description box for you. So here's a little overview of the closet and how it turned out. I feel like it looks so much better. Y'all will have to let me know what you think. And there's even a little space back there where I did end up putting Gracie June's rolling suitcase. So it worked out perfect. I love it. And Gracie June was super excited when she got home and saw that I had reorganized her closet. All right, so now that the closet is done, I'm gonna do some cleaning in her bedroom and get her bedding put back on her bed and just get this room cleaned up. I can't believe it's already over. Too late to talk and fix whatever's broken. I always thought so if you've been around for a while, you know my daughter loves Legos and she has a few sets that she wanted to display here in her bedroom, but honestly, it's kind of hard to clean around them. So what I'm doing is just taking a bunch of the Legos and putting them in these two little bins, they're clear bins. And then the only thing I'm gonna keep displayed out is the beach house because it's way too big and I don't want to take it apart because she spent so much time putting it together. So I'm going to keep that on the top, but this will make it easier so I can actually wipe down all of this bookshelf. Okay, so at this point, I felt like I was literally racing the clock to get done cleaning in here before I had to leave to get my kids from school. So the bedding is done. I'm throwing this on there really quick. And this is the Betty's bedding. It just zips up. The kids can make their beds in like two seconds with this bedding. And I did ask your opinion in last week's video because I'm thinking about getting the kids new bedding because they've had both of their sets for like three or four years now. And I will say they have held up so well. I'm surprised, like you would never know that they've had this bedding for so long unless you follow me here on YouTube. <laughs> um, but I do feel like the quality is so good. Here I actually went and traded out a pillow because that one was so flat. I felt like I needed a different pillow. So we had one in our closet that's super fluffy. So I decided to trade it out. Anyways, back to the bedding. I feel like for the price of this bedding, it has held up so well. Um, I love the fact that the kids can make their beds in like two seconds. It's super easy. I feel like it looks really good. You can never really mess up how to make up the bed. And so it's been great. But I'm just trying to decide whether, you know, I want to stick with the Bettys or maybe try a different brand. I've seen some really cute sets from Pottery Barn Kids, but... I mean, I don't know. I've never had anything from them before. And so I don't know the quality of it. I don't know if it's gonna last a really long time like these do. So if you guys have had Pottery Barn Kids bedding, let me know what you think. Does it hold up or should I just stick with the Bettys?
All right, Gracie June's room is all nice and clean. I can go get the kids from school and then I'm gonna pick up the next day with a little bit of cleaning that I needed to get done. So the video's not over, but I did get all the cleaning I needed to get done on day one. All right, so here we are on day two of cleaning and I'm opening up the garage. I had a few bags of clothes I needed to go throw in my car to give to our friends. And then this is the area that I'm gonna be cleaning up today. Our shoe rack is a disaster. We've got lots of shoes that are too small for the kids, so I need to go through all of that. We've got lots of drinks that need to be put in the refrigerator, but I didn't wanna do that until I clean out the fridge because we had a huge spill in there. We had some like fruit drink and apparently the top wasn't on all the way. Someone had opened it, took a sip, put it back in the refrigerator, and the top wasn't all on all the way. So it spilled all over the inside of the refrigerator. So I need to clean that up before I restock it. Now, I told you guys that it's been super warm here this week, but with the warm weather also comes the pollen. So our garage was covered in pollen. My car is covered in pollen. The driveway, the um, trampoline, everything is covered in pollen right now and it's so funny because as I was filming this I had my camera and literally like five minutes after I started filming my camera was covered in pollen too <laughs> so after I got done organizing the shoe rack I had planned on blowing out the garage because there were leaves everywhere the pollen was everywhere so I wanted to blow it out and we have this battery operated blower and so I'm looking around everywhere in the garage. Chance had done some organizing on the tool side of the garage a few weeks ago. And so I'm looking everywhere and I can't find it. And I text Chance and I'm like, hey, I need to blow out the garage. Where's the little battery operated blower? And he was like, oh, it wasn't working anymore. So I threw it away. And I'm like, well, dang, I needed to blow this out. Um, and the only other one that we have is a gas powered blower. And I have never used it before and so he was like, yeah, just wait till I get home and I'll just blow it out for you and I'll show you how to do it. So unfortunately, I didn't get this blown out today on camera, but he did come home and do that for me, which was great because it really needed it. And I've been trying to keep the garage door closed during the day because of the pollen and leaves and stuff, but I'm telling you, we can keep the door open for like five minutes and it is everywhere. But here you can see I am pulling everything out of the refrigerator. This is the huge mess that I was telling you about. It was all sticky and it was actually hard to get these little things out because they were sticking on there. Um, but I just took it outside because I figured it would be easier to clean these out here. And I took a little bit of Dawn dish soap, sprayed it, um, put a little bit in the bucket, put some water in there. And that's what I'm going to use to clean these off. And it works great. I'm telling you, I feel like Dawn is good on anything. They keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong so as I'm editing this, I can't help but notice that horrible bruise on my leg. And that is actually from where I was cleaning in Kaysen's room a few weeks ago, the video that I shared last week. Um, anytime I'm cleaning in his room, for some reason, I always run into the corner of his bed and I always get a bruise. <laughs> so that's a little battle wound for cleaning his room. Thank you. I'm gonna rinse these pieces off in just a second, but I decided to take that same soapy water and just use it to clean out the inside of the refrigerator. I figured this was just the easiest way to clean it with a wet sponge and some soapy water. 
and then I will go back and dry it out with a microfiber cloth. And it's so funny because I feel like I am always having to clean up messes in this refrigerator because if we put anything in the back of the refrigerator, it freezes and it like blows up and explodes in our refrigerator. So we've had several Diet Dr. Peppers blow up in there, um, some protein shakes, and it's just funny because we learned that we can't put anything at the very back of our refrigerator now, but then of course, like, someone accidentally spills something on the inside of the door. So I'm like, I'm always cleaning this refrigerator out. There's always a mess in this refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna rinse and dry all of the refrigerator pieces out here and put them back in the refrigerator and then I uh, will finally restock that fridge. Here in this bottom shelf, I am putting the Roaring Waters. Have you guys tried those? They're like the Capri Suns, but they're actually flavored waters. So I get these for the kids and for all the neighborhood kids when they're over, they know they can grab one out of there. And then I have Diet Dr. Peppers. This is my drink of choice. And then I have a few like energy drinks and these lollipop. I actually haven't even tried these yet. I got these a few weeks ago and still haven't tried them because I don't know, I've just been drinking my Diet Dr. Peppers, but I will try them soon. Y'all let me know what you think of them. And then we also love these flavored waters. They're the ice waters. We usually take those like baseball tournaments to help us keep hydrating. So that way we're not just drinking, you know, our regular waters. A lot of times we won't drink as much. And then here we've got some Premier Protein Shakes. So this drink fridge is now fully stocked and we are good to go. Now the last thing that I'm gonna do is a load of laundry. This is Kaysen's clothes. They are all clean, so I'm gonna actually fold them and then I will put them in the basket and put them in his room and then he can put them away when he gets home from school. And I feel like laundry time is all is kind of like me time. I get to watch a show while I'm folding laundry, so I actually get excited about it. So I have watched every season of The Handmaid's Tale and then I haven't watched this last season yet because when it first came out I was like I'm gonna wait until the entire season is out and I can binge watch it so I started watching it earlier this week and I'm on episode nine I think right now so I've got two episodes left and it's so good it's just a crazy show so y'all have to let me know if you've watched it or what your favorite shows that you're watching right now, anything on Netflix or Hulu. I actually only ordered, only watched The Hands, the Handmaid's Tale on Hulu, so I literally bought the subscription for this month just so I could watch The Handmaid's Tale, and then I'll probably cut it back off after that because I don't really watch anything else on there, unless you guys have some good suggestions on some shows I should watch that are on Hulu. <laughs> But anyways, that is all the cleaning that I'm going to do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen any of my other decluttering videos yet, be sure to go check those out. I actually have a playlist down in my description box where you can go find all of those videos. There are five other spaces that I have decluttered so far. So we started with the kids' playroom, which was awesome. And then we did my master closet. We did our bathroom the junk drawers in the kitchen, and then both of the kids' closets. So go check those videos out if you need even more decluttering and organizing motivation. 
And please let me know down in the comments if you guys are enjoying this series because I definitely have more spaces in the house that need to be decluttered and organized. So I'll still be going for a while. <laughs> also, another way to let me know that you're loving these videos is by giving this video a thumbs up. And then if you're new here and you are not already a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And while you're subscribing, be sure to comment below. Let us know who you are and where you're from or just a little bit about yourself so that way we can get to know you. I hope you guys have the best week ever and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Turning lies, that's how we stay alive.